driving and I'm, I'm only going, what, like probably 50 miles an hour about. Probably pissing off a lot of people or even this person right behind me who's probably waiting to want to pass me or whatever. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? Frank Slauson here and uh, welcome to, uh, well, the, for my first video of the summertime. And uh, sorry if it's a little windy, I, I know it's, you probably can't really hear me that well, but kind of talk as loud as I can, I guess. But uh, yeah, welcome to the first video of summertime uh, here on the Frank Slauson Show channel. I don't know how many videos I plan on doing this summer. Because I, I don't really, I mean, my, because I'm not working right now, I mean, I'm working a little bit, I'm making a little money, like, mowing grass and stuff like that, but as far as uh, being called back or, or working anywhere right now from anybody that's actually hired me or whatever, uh, that hasn't happened yet. And it's already June 6th, Monday, June 6th, 2011, and I'm still, still unemployed. The only good thing is that the appeal that I have is uh, tomorrow. And hopefully, man, I hope everything went. I hope everything goes good because uh, I don't know. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever be in this little bit of this bubble, I guess, you know. And I know I, I, I wasn't going to talk about the job or anything, you know, anymore. No, I said I wasn't going to talk about donations or anything anymore. You know, because I, you know, but uh, I never got a chance to really thank everybody for for the ones who did donate to me. Um, I'm not going to say how much we I made. I just going to say thank you to all the ones who helped out. You know, if I haven't thanked you already, I, I want to say thank you again because it, it did help out a lot. Uh, the only thing is that uh, <clears throat> I, I'm I'm still hoping to. Hopefully, get employed here soon because uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Well, if I don't win the appeal, that is, then I'm, I'm going to try to find. Uh, I'm actually going to Rosa right now to send in my application for uh, uh, to work at Elite Video and Sound in Rosa. That's a that's a movie place. It's a movie store. It's almost like Rent uh, Blockbuster. It's a video store. Uh, it's a video store that's been around for a little while around the area, so it's kind of well known. Uh, so it's, you know, hopefully something. I mean, they don't pay that much. I mean, it's only like six twenty-five an hour or something like that, or six bucks an hour. But you know what? I don't care. If I can work two days a week and make, you know, pay off my loan and pay off my insurance and then also have a little extra for myself, that's good enough. I'm ha I'll be happy with that for a while. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what's going on right now. Uh, we're, so we're going, to, we're going to Rozo. I don't really have much planned for right now. I am trying to get an interview lined up here. Hopefully sometime this month, if either this month or next month, to do with somebody. I'm not going to say who yet, because I'm kind of in the middle of trying to get that they're okay first and whatnot. A lot of you guys com com uh, commented on the whole, on my uh, last video, not this other video. But the other video uh, that I made, uh, talking about that I, you know, that I found Shay Carl's address and it was old house and I know his number and everything like that, because it's on his truck and everything. Um, a lot of you guys were totally kind of uh, leery about that. I was uh, kind of surprised a little bit, because um, you guys thought that uh, I was trying to stalk him. And I was like, I'm not really, st I'm not stalking him. I never do that. I mean. <laughs> I just think it'd be kind of fun to maybe, you know, get a chance to talk to him here, you know, if, if, if anything. I mean, I, I think what I'll do, whenever I decide to actually call that number, whatever it is, and, and hopefully it's still valid, if it isn't, then I guess whatever, then I'm going to probably get it on camera so you guys, so that's actually proof that I've actually tried to communicate with Shay Carl, you know, even if it's not an interview, at least to say, hey, I'm calling you up, but... How's it going? <laughs> but uh, then some of you guys were, were kind of understanding about that, knowing the fact that I'm not trying to stalk anybody. I mean, that's not what, what I do. You know, 
I just try to make, figure out an idea to make this my channel kind of entertaining this summer. I mean, yes, we're not we're not really doing any daily summer vlogs right now. I was going to, but I'm, I'm my whole focus right now is to make sure I can make some money so I'm financially okay. You know, that's what I need financial security before I can actually uh, promise anything as far as anything major or anything big. I mean, an, an interview, that's different because most interviews that I've done, I've never had to pay for an interview. You know, some people actually have to sign a contract or actually, in order to get in contact with some people and to their agents, they have to actually pay them to actually speak to them and all that. And I'm just like, holy shit, I, I, I could never imagine that. I, I know, I, I think you guys know what I mean, because I'm sure, like, even, uh, I'm sure even, like, what, uh, Jay Leno, or Dave Letterman, or, or, uh, Jimmy Fallon, or Jimmy Kimmel, or, you know, any of these, uh, Conor O'Brien, any of these guys that do late night talk shows, I'm sure it costs them a little bit to get, actually get these people to come down, and, uh, I'm sure, certain that they get paid to, uh, come down and be a part of the show, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure they don't just, uh, you know, because how the heck are they going to make any money, you know, get, having people come out free or whatever, you know, they get, you know, but I'm sure some people get, you know, get charged, you know, to come down. I don't know, maybe they don't, you know, but I've always kind of wondered about that, I guess, you know, when it comes to old TV shows or whatever, you know, old variety shows like that, uh, you know, like, how that works or whatever, but anyway, other than that, uh, this summer... Like I said, just wait for some financial security to come in. And other than that, you know, there's not going to be a whole lot. I do plan on doing a review on the uh, movie That's What I Am. But I'm going to probably uh, or wait on that because the next video, and this is, you know, the promising video that I'm going to you know, answer uh, the collector fans' uh, video or questions. Uh, but I got to find out a good time to do that. I like doing it when, 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 when uh, nobody's at the house. See, when I was on my own, when I lived on my own, I could do it whenever I wanted to, you know. There was no big deal then. You know, I had peace and quiet whenever I wanted. But now, it's like, I go back, I live back with mom and dad, and there's no, you know, I have to wait on certain times when, there's, when I know it's actually going to be peace and quiet. And, uh, yeah, so, but it's all good, though. I think, uh... I think this summer's going to be good no matter what. I mean, it, it may, have, may start out where season three kind of left a little bit as far as uh, me being poor, as far as me not having any income right now. I can't even buy I can't even buy a DVD right now, you know? But it's okay, though, because I've been focused. I, I, I recently got, uh, what did I say, those Harry Potter movies or whatever that I've had in my collection for a little while, I guess. I've been kind of watching those, that, you know, they actually are kind of interesting. When you actually watch them, actually pay attention to them, they are actually pretty interesting. I like the stories, I like, you know, you know, everything that, uh, you know, the, the music and the, just everything. I, mean, I think it's, I think it's all good. Uh, before, I, I never was a really big fan of Harry Potter because I always joke around called him Harry Pothead. But, no, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I understand the whole series. I don't think I'm going to read the books, you know, but I, but as far as watching the movies and understanding the films, that's where I can understand it more than, than actually reading the 800 page book, you know, with hardly any pictures or anything like that. So, anyway. So, other than that, you know, I'm just going to go to Roseau today and uh, just kind of, yeah. So, I just want to say, you know, thanks for everybody for sticking with me. Uh, so big things are going to happen here soon. It's just a matter of when. Um, so, you know, wish I could guarantee a lot more things than I than I have been. But uh, when you're, you know, when I'm not working and all that stuff, I don't have no way to get money next. That's the tough part about it. That's what makes it hard sometimes. You know, to figure everything out. But oh well, take life one day at a time, I guess. And uh, I guess that's all we can do. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm Frankie Slauson, and uh, welcome to summertime here on the Frankie Slauson Show channel. Uh, obviously, there's not going to be as many videos made this summer as there were last summer, but I think we'll still have fun anyway. Because there's still some things, if, if, if I'm financially able to, uh, there's a few concerts that will be kind of fun that I, I would like to go to this summer and whatnot. And also, my uh, nephew's uh, first 
my nephew Isaac will turn one years old here in about a week from this Saturday. And my dad will be turning 60 a week from this Saturday. Because remember, they both celebrate the same birthday. They both have the same birthday. So, anyway, I'm Frank Slauson, and uh, we will see you guys next time on the Frank Slauson Show channel.